Yep. Yeah, we're good. No, it's okay. Because I checked in where we are. We're live. Live? Live from York <laughs> Avenue in historic downtown Weatherford. It's the premiere of Walkabout Wednesday. Wait, clap again That's when I come back around. Ever. Clap. <laughs> that better? Yeah. Right. It's better. I'm proud. I'm your host and Main Street <laughs> Coordinator, Tim Lairbach, with me. It's Kristen Pegues, the Economic Development Coordinator. Guys, we've got three people watching. Say hi to Linda. Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. You took it away. I was trying to say hi to Linda. <laughs> hi, Linda. <laughs> say hi to Corny, uh, Connie, guys. Hi, Connie. Connie, welcome. Got four people. Four people. Awesome. I'm going to step back. Y'all keep going. So today, for our first Walkabout Wednesday, we're coming to you from Ruby May Toys and Clothing Boutique, right here at 131 York Avenue. See the uh, lovely storefront prepared by the owner, and uh, let's go in and take a look and meet our owner. Hi, how's it going? Stephanie? Stephanie, tell us about your store. Why did you name it Ruby May? What do you sell? What do you got? Well, hold my closer. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the price is right. It's a good moment. <laughs> so we named the store after my husband's grandmother. Um, we wanted a boutique name, and Golden Toys just didn't sound appropriate because we did start as just a toy store across the street. Soon after, we expanded, so we sell toys, women's clothing, women's apparel. That's the same thing. Um, <laughs> accessories, kids' clothing, gifts, um, candles, anything you can think of. We even had the man chair, so when you're in here and your husband, your spouse, your significant other is complaining, we have that too for them. Uh, my husband insisted on that. We also have a little play area in the back, so when mom is shopping or trying on clothes, they have something to keep them busy instead of running out the door. We better check it all out. All right, well, back to you. Bob, Timothy, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bob, Timothy. Bob, Tim. So the store's arranged. We have toys on this side. We have clothing on this side. Well, Nicole, if you'll help us out getting the landscape of the toy section. And then you're not, uh, you're not like boutique prices, no. so to speak, right? We try to be within five to seven dollars of what Target, Walmart, and Amazon are. Um, if we can't get within that range, we know money is important especially right now sure. um, we don't want to sell it and also if it's something that i wouldn't buy for myself or my kids i don't want to sell it either because we want to have something that a is quality also is a great price as well excellent very well curated selection too. <laughs> so i know um that i wanted to bring that up because i know boutique kind of strikes a a yes, money cord so with people we first opened when we were just toys people did not shop us for the longest Slowly, they slowly, their curiosity <laughs> got to him, and they came in, and they said, I don't know why I didn't come in sooner. I was scared that you guys were going to be ridiculously expensive and between prices. Right. And I said, no, no, no. We want, A, the kids, if they have allowance, um, report card money, any kind of money from, like, We've, uh, we've seen your neighbor's kids in here actually yes. shopping with their, their We want time. them to be able to come in and leave with something. So we don't want them to go, oh, man, i got to save for a whole year because that just... My kids are kids don't have, have patience. It's not okay. Yes, yeah, so we wanted to be very price friendly as well. And a testament to that, one of Tim's favorite toys, or many of Tim's favorite toys, are right here behind you, Nicole. These um, weapons of destruction here. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see they're they're all, all under ten dollars or ten dollars mm -hmm. here. And she even has stuff that they can try out some of the toys too. Yes. Yes. So half the battle is a kids fall in love with packaging. They do their job, um, the toy companies. So half the time, kids want to buy something and they have no idea what it is. They just like the box. So we take things out of the box so we can know, hey, do they really want this or is it just going to just sit in the closet? So that's why we love having our testers. And it's hard to know what does this feel like. Um, you can go into other stores and that product's not going to sell because you have no idea what you're buying unless you've bought it before. And so all of our sensory products have been sitting out for almost two years, so that's how long we've been open. Wow. They will never, ever, ever. 
ever dry out. They're all non-toxic. We gluten free and this one is also casein free. So these are great for teachers. Um, so what is this? It looks like Play-Doh. This is our Mad Matter. Um, this one is also casein free. It think kinetic sand but more on the dough side. Okay. Um, so it can actually build bricks. Like if we show you the brick building set. Like we have two different ones. It can actually build Legos. Wow, cool. Make your own Legos. And then um, it just it's a flowy compound. It's really good for a sensory play. Cool. cool. Donna said it's an awesome place. Thanks, Donna. <laughs> Donna is right. <laughs> um, a Kinex Ferris wheel. I've got a, a little buddy that's he's seven now, and this is his game. He <laughs> loves Kinex. In fact, for Christmas, he got a six foot. Oh, that thing is three times his size, but it's Where a six it? foot. I think it's in mom and dad's room right now. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> we have a cuddle cow for cuddle day. I saw on the calendar today. It is cuddle day. Oh, it is. You know what's also good for cuddling? Sweaters. Cuddly clothes. Yeah. It's always good for cuddling as well. Anything, anything we want to point out about the clothing line? The clothing is the same in the aspect of the toys. We try to, A, make what you're buying last longer. So a lot of our pieces are layering pieces. So it's not just something that you can wear. Like if you notice, this one is sleeveless. You can wear this a oh, little bit into the fall when those, right. you know, Texas heat is yeah. still around. Um, and then you can go in into there and put that on and some booties. That one too is a tank top. You can throw a cardigan over it. So we try to get pieces that are multifunctional so you can get the most for your money. Out of your use. Very good. And of course, we've got the graphic tees over here. Always a big seller. We, uh, Tim and I enjoy seeing what's new when we come in here as far as graphic tees go. Twisted is very timely. <laughs> the twisted tee. Well, well, that's not the same twisted tee. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying uh, leave it at that. <laughs> we have a little free library. Yes, so we cleaned out oh, our a kids' free closet. Um, it was during COVID. And the library was actually still closed. So people can't go inside, they can't get that experience. And books are expensive. They are. Um, I don't know if you guys realize. Yeah. It's, they're expensive. They are. Um, especially their favorite ones. Always. That they have to leave the bookstore with. Yes. So we decided to clean them out and bring them here so the kids, even if they don't get something, they can go home with a free book. Um, we actually were really sad because we flew through them. And I was saying, you know, Half Price Books does their thing at the Arlington Convention Center. We can get them, like, really cheap. And I was going to go load up. With, with COVID, I was worried. And literally that day, a customer left three cases of books underneath my bench. And it, it should make me cry, but I was almost in tears. I was like, you know, we got to fill the library again. Yeah, and that's awesome. It's just great. Like, if you're cleaning out your closet, bring us your books. We would love them. Okay. We have books every day. Yeah. Yes. She, she wants your books. The kids love them. Yes. Tim, you want to tell them about our, our new feature of Walkabout Wednesday? Yes, this is the new segment, the Walkabout Wednesday winner. Uh, each week, we'll be giving away a very special prize, and this week, it's one of our favorite toys in the store here, the Fingers. Fingers. Allow me to demonstrate masterfully the use of so, the Fingers. So, um, I'm correct, Tim demonstrated this yesterday, and masterfully is a stretch. So they are magnetic uh, fidget spinners. It's like the, the 5.0 or the 5G. <laughs> or the um, honestly, this is we have a video going. <laughs> um, they, they honestly do it way better than any of us could ever imagine. Um, but they're amazing. They're magnetic. You can do so many tricks with them. Play with your friends with them. And they come with booklets. They are the <laughs> ultimate fidget spinner. I think Tim was, Tim was dreaming about how to work here because he's like advanced. That's okay. Okay. I think uh, he, he has. Now he can spin. I can spin. I can transfer. <laughs> <laughs> I can he can not transfer smoothly. <laughs> Donna <laughs> is laughing. <laughs> but I'm sure everyone watching is actually laughing. <laughs> we, um, Stephanie told us yesterday that her kids have watched some videos and you can actually throw these things to each other if you have two sets. And, and you're skilled them. enough to yeah. catch it. So the skill is the real yeah, Practice. So Practice. if you think you can do better than me and you want to win today's very special prize, you need to show up here at Ruby May Toy and Gifts. 
toy and clothing boutique, I'm sorry. Um, and, uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> Ruby May, that's Ruby May, toy and clothing boutique. And uh, have your picture taken with our winner board. Your name will go on here. You'll share a post uh, on social media. Hashtag Weatherford Main Street, Main Street Weatherford. Whatever you prefer. So tell them when it opens. The drawing? The, the yeah. Drawing opens How quickly? Now. now. Get in here. The first, first one person here. in the door. We're waiting. At Ruby May <laughs> Toy and Clothing Boutique. So walk. No, no run. Walk. Run. run. When you get here, we'll, we'll, we have a chalk pen. You can put your name on here, and we'll ask you to take a picture with your prize and possibly with the owner if she's willing. Absolutely. And, uh, I didn't get fabulous for nothing. Oh, she didn't get fabulous for nothing. I like it. We got to use it when we got it, right? So let's do a really quick walk through the back room because she says, yes. You knocked an owl over. It's about time I knock a table over. It's great. <laughs> okay, this is the playroom. Is this the chair? We have two chairs. Chair. Oh, oh, we do. Boom. Men chairs. Bring all the men. Or two of them. And it's anyway. very comfortable. And I know I'm not selling them. I get asked that a lot. Um, chairs are not for sale. Let's confirm. That she's not selling? She just that they're man chairs. <laughs> so, yes, we have the train table. We have a dog. Awesome. the barn. Um, Play away. Play away. The kids close here. Um, more, more of the Melissa bag is back here. It's more for the younger kids. Um, it's a well-known and loved brand. Yes. Um, we love that we have that. We have teethers. Anything you can think of for a baby shower gift or a gift for like, the first birthday, we got you covered. Excellent. We really do. A little bit of everything, including a giant crocodile. The kids do like to wrestle that, like their crocodile. Well, of course. Dummy. Is that, is that the right guy? Uh, we'll the go with it. Yeah, I, mean, I think it works. Uh, I mean, I'll, yes. But they wrestle him. So, and the moms are like, stop, stop, little girl. And they're like, no, I'm not going to. No, no, wrestle the, wrestle the gator. Come home, it's a good nap. It's a good nap. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Nicole's showing me some more of the, the kid or the baby toys that are available back here. Uh, like Stephanie said, these are good for baby showers, first birthdays, little presents in between, whatever suits you. Lots of cute stuff. Okay, I think that about wraps us up here. Um, again, first person down here to say that they saw this show and claim their prize, it's yours for the take. It's going to be Donna. <laughs> Donna's disqualified already. <laughs> um, but we're going to continue doing these every Wednesday, our Wednesday walkabouts, and we will continue having a giveaway. Um, we'll let you know closer to time where we'll be next Wednesday. But be sure and tune in about 1130 next Wednesday. That's it for us, Tim. Have a great Wednesday, all, and we'll be walking about. Say bye. Bye. bye.